Hey guys, uh, just back. Um, first of all, I want to thank everyone for their uh, words of wisdom and their support. I uh, love the messages coming through. I've only just started this and uh, so far I got some pretty cool uh, words of wisdom from people all around the world. So uh, that's really great. I appreciate that. I'm very, very uh, grateful for that. Um, second of all, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the, the anger part uh, of my last uh, documentation. And, you know, living with anger, for people who are angry, it's a corrosive emotion that pretty much destroys the mind and destroys the body pretty, pretty quickly. And as a result of that, people are ill at ease and develop disease which is ill at ease dis-ease and that's something I've been very conscious of actually over the years because had I allowed that to faster you know the anger built in if you allow that to faster it's gonna really 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 destroy your life and um, I figured out a way to be able to put the anger into a box so it wouldn't be there all the time in the sense of I'd be feeling angry. It's down in a box. It's There's a lock there. It's put away. I don't allow it to come out. Um, and it's very difficult, but it takes years to develop that type of ability to manage and, uh, you know, manage, manage anger, really. So it's something that I did want to share with you guys and... Um, I, I mentioned in the last uh, documentation that I was, you know, skating on thin ice every day, and you know, it's it's normal normal day. You're sta- skating on thin ice. That's cool. We can deal with that. Um, but sometimes you're going to potentially fall through that ice, and that's the challenge: is not to let it fall through. So I've I've had a quite a good run actually of not falling through the ice. Uh, into the the pit of of, of anger, which when it when, which then starts to consume you uh, with with you know with there's many different emotions associated with with anger, um, but I think it's a real tool to be able to one acknowledge it, acknowledge the fact that this is a terrible thing that's happened, that you're 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 you have a right to be angry. Anybody would be angry. And that you're, you're doing something about it, and, and that's the that's the key part. So put it in a in a box, uh, compartmentalize it, put the key in there, throw away the key, and let it fester down there, and don't let it into your daily life or activity. Um, uh, and I think that's that's how 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 one has to survive, really. Um, uh, you know, the more I to talk about my, my my the whole experience with my brother uh, that the, the nightmare that it it still is it, you know the more I start drifting towards that box of, of anger which is down there you know and so uh, you know it's kind of a, a balancing act of wanting to talk about it but not wanting to feel to develop too many emotions around it um, and uh, you know, it's it, it's a it's a tip, it's a trick, it's a it's a strategy that works for me, and I highly recommend anybody else out there dealing with, you know, a, a terrible tragedy or a traumatic experience or whatever it might be to uh, to try to compartmentalize the uh, the anger, the frustration, all of that, those those awful emotions that are associated with um, uh, with, with with loss. Um, and that's probably just a few words on that I'll be back uh, again for the next part pretty shortly uh, when I have something to share Uh, I'll always have something to share but I'll I'll do it frequently and I appreciate you guys uh, reaching out uh, for the words of wisdom the support Uh, you guys have a lot of good questions too actually Um, and I'm always happy to respond so uh, yeah I think I'll leave it at that and thanks for tuning in